need another. DJ for two makes three count two. You see the plethora of ingredients are before us. So that means this six ingredient drink will be extra tasty, right? Right, maybe, yes. So today we are going to prepare what? We're going to prepare a blueberry basil margarita. That's right, it's our margarita friend with lime and the addition of blueberry and basil just to make it more better and tasty. So in this drink, we're going to use Blanco Tequila, Reposado Tequila, blueberries, fresh lime juice, and agave nectar with a couple of basil leaves spanked and put in here and muddled and all that old shit, then poured down our necks. Yes, so let's get to building this drink. So first up, we have one ounce of Blanco Tequila. We're gonna put that into our mixer here. We have one ounce of Reposado Tequila. You could use all Blanco, Blanco if you want, but no. We're not going that way. We have three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Yes, now we have blueberries. We have 10 or 15 blueberries. We're gonna put those in here. Next, we've got a couple of basil leaves. We're gonna spank that to wake them up. Couple of basil leaves. Mm, they smell awesome. So this is gonna make it herbaceous and sweet and tequila awesomeness all at once. Now we're gonna muddle this. Give it a good muddle. We wanna crush those blueberries up because that's gonna be the base of our flavor. So we're getting it going here. Look at that, guys. Muddle drinks are awesome because you get a really intense flavor and a nice combination and layering of those flavors when you do this. So we got that. Oh, look, we got two straggler blueberries here. We're going to take care of that. Get them all in there, right? All the blueberries want to go for a swim in this tequila. All right, so we've got that all muddled. Now we're going to add our agave nectar. We're going to put about an ounce in here. That's for sweetness, okay? That's gonna balance out the basil and the lime juice and the blueberry flavors along with the tequila. I'm using this from Eradora. You know, this is straight from the source making the tequila agave nectar, blue agave nectar that is. So, we've got all this in here. What do we need to do next? We've got our glass chilling here. We're gonna dump that old ice. So we've got our cold glass and we're gonna add some fresh ice into this shaker. Now this one we're gonna pour entirely into the glass. We're not gonna strain it. Here we go. A little more ice, and we got one into there, and we'll put in that. So we're gonna cap this off, give it a shake, pour, garnish, uh, and get our drink on. Here we go. And what do we do when we have to do our shake? We gotta get our shake face on. Let's have at it. If you're making a drink, you gotta be happy, right? Because you're gonna make somebody happy post show. Boom, look at that gorgeousness in there. So on these kind of shakers, just pop it. Boom, give it a little twist. Now, gonna put this in our glass. Remember, we're not gonna strain it, get it all in there, mm-mm. Look at that, hell yes. All right, now we're gonna give this a little bit of a garnish. We've got our blueberry skewer, and why not a lime wheel? Look at that, guys. <laughs> that looks freaking awesome. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> hell yes. Man, there's so many layers of flavor in this. The blueberry, the sweetness from the agave nectar, the lime, that you get like the punch from that. And then when you combine the reposado and the blanco tequila, I like that the best because you get the smokiness that you get from the reposado from its time in the barrel. And then that bite from the white or blanco, man, this is freaking delicious. Take a look at that, guys. Don't you want to drink that? I know I do, and I think my missus probably will too. So. Blueberry basil margarita, super easy, super tasty as well. You can do this too. Combining six ingredients, you get extra layers of awesomeness. So the next DJ's brew tube, you gotta do something really important for me, which is thinking globally, drinking locally, and supporting the craft beer and cocktail movement. Because when you support those kind of things, you get lots of awesomeness coming your way. That's right. Also, if you could, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, especially if it's your first time with us, and smash that like button because that probably was maybe only one or two of these blueberry, <coughs> excuse me, basil margaritas puts my happy face on. So, till next DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a going, bunch of going horse, drinking love for you, and you know what's coming? <laughs>